Okay, friend. Well, today we are wrapping up Exodus chapter 36. And I just have to say, I don't have a lot here. <laughs> um, this is... This feels like a lot of repetition, but I do think it is important for us to slow down and take, take this in because there is something for us to learn here about how to worship the Lord. At least that's where I went with this today. So as I read it, and I did this yesterday too, you might remember, I think I pointed out just how many times this word made or to do was used in the passage yesterday. And I counted 17 times. I could be wrong. <laughs> um, but today I did that once again, because this is truly a continuation of where we we were yesterday and we talked about yesterday that uh, Exodus chapter 36 the, the the first half of it was pointing us to the work of the Lord the work that the Lord had commanded getting done getting done they were they're doing it they're doing the work that the Lord has commanded for them to do and so today really is a continuation. I don't know if I can show my book, but once again, I just highlighted or I circle the words made or did. And I came up with, did I jot down how many times that was written? Uh, once again, wow, 17 times. <laughs> so this passage, just like yesterday, is all about the work of building the tabernacle, getting done. Uh, God had commanded it. If you looked up any of the cross references, that's what you found. That's what I found. Uh, the cross reference was back in all the cross references were back in Exodus chapter 26 when God commanded uh, how these pieces and parts of the tabernacle are to be built. That was the other word that I highlighted in today's passage is the word tabernacle. It's like, oh yeah, what are they building? They're building the tabernacle. They're building the pieces and parts that make for this portable sanctuary where God will dwell in their midst. So let's not lose sight of that. We don't want to lose sight of the purpose of the tabernacle. Remember, back when we were studying Exodus 26, we said, look, here is where the Lord will dwell with them. He's going to be smack dab in the center of their camp, and they will encamp all the way around him. And they will always have the assurance of his presence with them. So I think it's really important to remember what it is they're building. Tabernacle is mentioned nine times in this passage. So that's what I, I, I asked that what question. What is being built? It is the tabernacle. It's the pieces and the parts of the tabernacle. And as I mentioned, the cross references point us to God commanding all of these pieces and parts of the tabernacle to be made. And today shows the fulfillment of that. And that is important. Today shows... Um, shows us the, the fulfillment of God's commands. The people do it. They are making it. They are building it. So it sounds so simplified, but a lot of times it does help me to just really keep things sort of at a kindergarten level. You know what I mean? So I asked the question, how is this being made? How is the tabernacle being created? Number one, God commanded. Number two, the people do it. They make it, meaning the people obey. And so, you know, just a, just a remembrance where we were yesterday, we landed on this idea that this work is the Lord's work. He has invited them in his grace. He has extended them to participate in the building of his dwelling place. I mean, that is his grace that he allows for them to participate in building uh his dwelling place. I don't know how to make it sound more awesome than that. The Lord will, the Lord is providing, he will see the work done. He will see it done, but he is allowing the people to participate. 
So my last question for today, I kept things very, very simple. I just asked, what is it I learned about worship? I mean, if we put yesterday and today, uh, which is all of Exodus chapter 36, what is it that we learn about worship? And I, I answered that worship involves obedience. It involves obedience. Um, and, and thinking about, okay, what is like post Christ, uh, after uh, the work of Jesus Christ on the cross, What is the tabernacle? Well, the tabernacle is us, right? The spirit of God dwells in us. And I looked up a couple of verses just to get me thinking that way. Uh, Romans 12, 1. Here's where I'm going to my application now. Uh, Post Christ on this side of the cross, what is the tabernacle? It is my body. It is our bodies. So Paul says in Romans 12, 1, I appeal to you by the mercies of God to present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, which is your spiritual worship. How do we worship the Lord? We obey, like it involves obedience. And that also involves obedience with our bodies, right? Here's the tent. Here's the portable sanctuary. 1 Corinthians 6, this, this is verse 19 and 20. I love this. Paul says it really in black and white. Or do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit within you? whom you have received from God, you are not your own, for you were bought with a price. So glorify God in your body. Uh, Don't you love that? Do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit dwelling within us, just as this as this tabernacle is being built for God, uh, God's spirit to dwell and be with his people. Let's ponder and chew on that. And I think really ask and do a heart check. Okay, Lord, what does it look like for me to worship you in this body? Uh, where do I need to obey you? I think those are some good questions for us to ask today. Thank you.